Last month I revealed to you all my new stream room setup and I told you guys in that video that I was going to be making some changes to my PC so that way moving into 2021 I can move into the world of 4K gaming. The upgrades are in, the dual PC setup is running, and this is my 4K gaming setup. <laughs> The overall goal from this was to be able to enjoy a high refresh rate 4K gaming experience while being able to stream. And with all that being mixed in, being able to also capture content along the way. Whether I want to make an awesome 4K 60p highlight montage of maybe some Call of Duty or Escape from Tarkov, or I just want to capture some stream highlights from today's stream and put that out as an upload tomorrow to just kind of show people what the stream's all about. All I want to be able to do moving into 2021 is just be able to create, but have that nerdy 4K gaming experience as well. And just a friendly reminder too, I did just move to YouTube for streaming. I have a new stream channel. Be sure to go check that out. Stop by a live stream sometime. We stream midday, Monday through Friday. Diving into the monitors, obviously in order to game at 4K, I have to have a 4K monitor that can handle that. The lovely folks at Asus sent me out the Asus Rogue Swift PG27UQ. It is a 27 inch 144 hertz IPS display. This is the only monitor plugged into my gaming PC when it comes to the dual PC setup for 4K gaming, I wanted to have as little clutter on this PC as possible. So less monitors, software, hardware, I just want the gaming computer to only worry about gaming. I was a little nervous at how 4K at 27 inch range would be, as like, would it really be that noticeable from 1440? Oh buddy, is it ever. I've obviously noticed the 4K experience playing games like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War at a 4K like 160 FPS. At that resolution and refresh rate, my visual distance, the quality, the detail, it, it's amazing. It's like playing above a high-end quality 1440p without losing any frames as well. And where it really shines and stands out is lately I've been playing Cyberpunk on this gaming setup, and oh my God, does this game look amazing at a 4K 60p experience. It's unreal, even with the bugs, I'll deal with them having that detail. The side monitor that I use for my live stream chat is the Asus 27 inch 1440p Pro Art Edition. This is attached to my stream PC. As I mentioned, I wanted to have less stuff as possible plugged into the gaming PC. A couple people have asked me about the background. The backgrounds are custom renders from my motion graphics for my live streams. I do have custom exclusive background packs that I put out for my members. So make sure you guys are joining the Big E's member club today. Hit the join button below the video. My gaming PC is built inside an Asus Tough Gaming GT501 case. Graphics are powered by an Asus Rogue Strix 2080 Ti OC Edition. Everything is plugged into an Asus Rogue Maximus XI Hero BO4 Edition. I know maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I was really into BO4 at the time and I was really into streaming, so I got the BO4 Edition one and it works the same. For the processor, we're running an i7 8086K from Intel. For the processing cooler, we're doing an Asus Rogue Ryzen 240. 32 gigabytes of G Skill Trident Z RAM at, I believe, 3200. And then the whole thing is powered by the Asus Rogue Strix 850 watt gold power supply. I know a few people have stopped by the live streams and assumed that I'm just rocking the new 30 series graphic cards. I just want to remind you, the 20 series NVIDIA graphics cards are still unreal. The 2080 Ti is still an insane GPU. So don't be shocked that we're getting high refresh rate at 4K gaming with this card. And I actually run pretty decent settings with it too. Now diving into what's on the desk, what mouse, keyboard, and other things do I use. Starting off with keyboard, we are rocking the Asus Rogue Strix Scope TKL Brown Key Edition. It's got a little bit more click than what I've been used to lately with the 60% keyboards, but I do like having a lot of those extra key options and that like stainless steel frame with the LED lighting around it just makes the keyboard look so good on the wooden desk. Using that keyboard with the Aurora Sync across all the devices and then having that like pink and blue setting to match my brand. Oh, love it. They did a great job with the design on this. For the gaming mouse, we have been rocking the glorious Model O wireless. I 
do have a review coming out for this thing soon. I promise. I just want to get a little bit more into it and use it for a period of time to make sure it's actually going to hold up. So far, this thing is awesome. The mouse is on top of the glorious cloth XL mouse pad. I've been using this for a while now. To the left, we have a glorious wooden wrist rest to accommodate to the keyboard. When it comes to the controller, if there's any games where I would prefer to use a controller, for example, Cyberpunk, I don't know. I just enjoy to sit back, relax, and, and have a controller. And we are using the Scuf Infinity 4 PS Pro controller, the SOAR edition. Make sure you guys use code SOAR at checkout on scuff and then last but not least we have the stream deck from elgato to help out with my live streams i know it doesn't really have anything to do with the gaming experience but i know people are going to ask what mic and camera do i use that's mounted to the gaming desk area because this is my gaming and streaming setup the camera setup is a sony a7r3 the sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 yes that camera is an extreme overkill for streaming. It is not the only reason why I have that camera. And then also too, unfortunately, it's the mic inputs broke. So since I moved up to the Sony a7S III, I really just can't get rid of that thing. So I've just been using it as a stream cam. It should last for a long time. It's a heavy duty camera. The DSLR stand that is mounted on top of, I did a video actually on that. It is a cheap $30 stand off of Amazon. You can use it for lights, DSLR setups, any other little things that you need to mount around your setup to help with your everyday use. Link to that video is in the description. Go check it out. I highly suggest this thing. The microphone setup is a Rode Pod mic, which is ran through a DBX286S preamp. And then that is ran through a PreSonus audio box that actually sends the signal to the computer. Right now I have all that stuff, all the sound and mic audio running to the stream PC. Again, as much much less clutter and hardware and software as possible on my gaming PC. So all that machine has to worry about is gaming. With that being said, my only downside is my microphone doesn't actually work with voice chat and games. So I did a little work around with this. I mounted a little Rode Video Mic Go on top of my monitor with just a little bit of sticky Velcro. So that way, if I do need to respond to somebody in game, I have the option if I need to. As you all are aware by now, setups is like an ever growing thing for me. It's something that I just love working on, love improving with, adapting and getting better and making the environment around me be as unique as possible. I am blessed to be in a position for you guys and gals to make this possible, to create content around these topics. So thank you all first and foremost for being members, for throwing some support on the live streams, for overall just watching these videos. It helps all around. Mix that in with the amazing companies that have been working with us in 2020 and plan to work with us in 2021. This is going to be a forever growing thing. We are going to be adapting. We are gonna be working with new content. And in the future, we are going to help others with their setups as well. With that being said, I know you guys and gals are making some amazing setups too. And I love checking those out. So make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter and are joined into our Discord server. So that way we can check out your setups when we go live sometime. The Stream Creative PC has some issues with it right now that I'm trying to work out. And I think there's some upgrades coming to that soon. So I wanted to hold off on talking about that. Let me know in the comments down below though, if you would like a tour of the creative setup to see what I use to edit videos every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys are following me on my stream channel to see when we go live, as well as Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace. I'm gonna go game in 4K. Ha!